Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So here we've got a fraction which we want to separate out into separate fractions. Because we've got a linear factor in the denominator which is being squared, the power of 2 tells us that we're going to have two separate fractions. But what we do first of all is we rewrite the numerator. So we're leaving the denominator as it was, and what we're looking to do is to have x plus 2 appear in the numerator. So I'm just going to write that in first of all. So that's just a factor of the denominator. And now what we want to do is think about what do we need to multiply that by to get 7x plus 17? Or well, certainly to get the 7x, the 17 we can deal with at the end. So if we've got an x in that bracket, well, we just need to multiply that by 7. So if we multiply 7 by x plus 2, we're going to get 7x, that's the important bit, but we now need to get the 17. So when we multiply 7 by 2, we only get 14, so we need to add on 3. So that bit is the hard work. Once you've done that, then the rest is simple to do, because we can now separate this out into two fractions. So the first one will be the 7 times x plus 2 over x plus 2 squared. And then the other one is just the 3 over x plus 2 squared. And you can see that the first fraction is going to simplify because we can cancel x plus 2 from the numerator and denominator. So that just leaves us with 7 over x plus 2 and the second fraction stays as it was. So you always find when you've got a fraction like this that you end up with something over the linear factor on its own and then something over the, the linear factor squared.